hello student in our previous videos we have seen about the different types of the solar cell and uh, which depend on the material is used for the construction of the solar cell and uh, second criteria is the the formation of the pn junction that is the based on the configuration there are different types of the solar cell for example if we consider according to the configuration there is a pn junction heterojunction pn heterojunction solar cell pn homojunction solar cell semiconductor insulator semiconductor solar cell these are the different types of the solar cell which are based on the configuration and um, second is based on the material that means the material which is used for the construction of the solar cell and generally which is the semiconductor material for example we consider the silicon and which is the semiconductor material for the construction of the solar cell then the solar cell is the silicon solar cell and uh, suppose we take gallium arsenide or uh, something uh, cadmium sulfate all this material which are the semiconductor material and so far for the construction of the solar cell these materials are used and uh, according to that the name is given to that solar cell so in our previous video we discussed about the different types of the solar cell in briefly now in this video we have to consider the different photovoltaic applications that means the photovoltaic system is used for the different purposes and what what are that purposes so let's start with that so application of solar photovoltaic systems Various solar photovoltaic systems have been developed and installed at different sites for demonstration and field trial purposes. That means there are different types of these photovoltaic systems and which are installed or developed at a different site. That means the, the area of application where we can use these photovoltaic systems. So these systems are used for the different field or for the different purposes the terrestrial application of these systems include provision of power supply to water pumping set for micro irrigation agricultural drinking water supply that means the terrestrial application the terrestrial application of the photovoltaic systems these systems includes that means the terrestrial application includes water pumping sets that means the the water pumping is used for the different field that is agriculture micro irrigation or drinking water supply radio beacons or signal fire for ship navigation at ports that means the this photovoltaic system is used in a ship navigation or for the ship navigation community radio and television set that means this photovoltaic system or the electricity which is obtained from that photovoltaic system is used to operate the radio and the television sets cathodic protection protection of oil pipelines we know that for the transportation of the oil there are different pipelines through earth interior part or through sea so these pipelines when they are in contact with the water then there is a corrosion process and to avoid that corrosion process we need some dc supply external dc supply so if we use solar cell or the photovoltaic system so that this photovoltaic system generate electricity that means the dc voltage and this dc voltage is able to resist that corrosion process so cathodic protection of oil pipelines this is the one of the advantage of the photovoltaic system weather monitoring that means with the help of photovoltaic system we can we are able to obtain the information about the weather railway signaling equipment that means for the railway signaling equipment photovoltaic system is also used battery charging for the vehicle battery charging or some industrial battery charge charging process for that purpose the photovoltaic system is used street lighting that means the the bulbs which are glowing with the help of pv solar cell or the solar cell panels so in the street lighting we can use the solar 
panel for the generation of the electricity so these are the different wide applications of the photovoltaic systems we discuss one by one application so let's start with that first is the water pumping water pumping is a very important application of the photovoltaic system in the different fields solar power is a commonly used for water pumping facility which has been proved more effective in villages for agri agricultural purposes and also in a water pumping for a drinking water power drinking water supply that means the, the water pumping process is used in various field generally it is used in the agricultural field and where there is a efficiency of deficiency of the drinking water in that area the purification of the water or the pumping of the water is done with the help of photovoltaic system so for the pumping of the drinking water supply the photovoltaic system is used the energy from the solar panel is used to operate the pump that is used to lift the water from lower level to the higher level suppose we want to replace or we want to lift the water from bottom level to top level or high low level to high level then we can use pump but the pump require the electricity or external supply for their operation so this electricity is obtained from the pv power pv systems or photovoltaic system so in this way the photovoltaic system helps to operate the pump and so that we can lift water from low level to high level the photovoltaic water pumping system essentially consist of with photovoltaic water pumping system different consist of different parts so first part is the a photovoltaic array the main part of the system is the photovoltaic array second is a storage battery that means if we are not able to collect the sunlight that is in a rainy or cloudy days then the storage battery are helpful or we can store the energy when we have the sunlight and uh, this energy we can utilize when we don't have sunlight so storage battery are very important power control equipment that means there is a power control equipment how much amount we require so we can decide with the help of power control equipment motor pump set there is a motor pump set and last is the water storage tank then in which we have store the water so the water storage tank is required for the storage of the water these are the different components of the water pumping system this is the solar water pumping system that means the the electricity which is used from the pv solar panels and uh, this electricity is used to operate the pump and this pump lifts the water from low level to high level as shown in the figure the blue part is the pv solar panel and uh, sometimes we require inverters and uh, that means inverter is used to convert ac into sorry dc into ac so this is the inverter and uh, at the bottom part there is a water pump which lift the water from low level to high level the storage tank is at is above the ground is above the the tank which is at the bottom that means the there is a level difference between these two tank the storage tank and the the water in which the tank in which water is a present so there is a level difference level difference between these two tanks so we have to consider that the operation how the system lift the water from low level to high level so there is a water pump or motor set so this motor set operate with the help of pv solar panels that means the electricity which is generated by the pv solar panels is used to operate the pump that is a motor set pump and this motor set pump lift the water from bottom tank to the upper tank that is a storage tank in this way we are able to collect the water from bottom level to top level and this water again 
given to the different field that means th this water is utilized for the different application such as in agriculture irrigation so this is all about the solar water pumping system second application is the solar power cathodic protection that means we are able to protect the oil pipelines from the corrosion pipelines well heads and other metallic structure are prone to corrosion due to exposure to water we know that when metal is in contact with the water then there is a corrosion process so the pipelines when the pipelines are formed from the metallic material then there is a corrosion process when these pipelines are in contact with the water suppose so as well as well heads and other metallic structure are prone to the corrosion due to exposure to the water but how we can avoid this corrosion process so we can use solar power cathodic protection corrosion occurs due to due to the electrolytic activity of metals as they lose ions in contact with the water that means the, the metal lose ions which is in the contact with the water so the corrosion process occurs this electrolytic process leading to corrosion can be reduced by applying an external voltage this process this corrosion process can be reduced with the help of providing the small dc voltage or external voltage so this corrosion process can be avoided with the help of electrolytic process this external voltage will prevent the ions loss from the metal when the ions loss from the metal then there is a corrosion process but if we take care about that that means the we are able to prevent that ions that means the the ion which loose from the metal then there is no corrosion process and for that we need or we require some dc voltage so that is the small amount of external voltage or dc voltage is required to apply that system so that there is no corrosion process to that end only a small dc voltage will be enough for that process only small dc voltage is enough so in this way we are able to protect the pipelines from the corrosion pv are a suitable candidate for this purpose as they produce low voltage dc power that can be used directly that means the photovoltaic system is very best for that so we can use the photovoltaic system because it uh, it is able to generate the small dc voltage and this small dc voltage is enough to avoid that corrosion process so this is the cathodic protection of oil pipelines using pv system the blue part is uh, the total blue part is a uh, main part is the photovoltaic system or photovoltaic array and the back background is the that means the, there is a pipelines different pipelines oil pipelines and uh, these pipelines are made up from the metal and uh, when this metal is in contact with the water then there is a corrosion process but this solar panel generate small amount of dc voltage and this dc voltage is used to or to prevent the loss of ions from that metal surface so that there is no corrosion process so electrolytic process prevent the corrosion process so for that purpose the photovoltaic system play very important role so this is all about the cathodic protection of oil pipelines using pv systems so these pv systems used to prevent the corrosion process and also for the water pumping process that means we are able to lift the water from bottom bottom level to the higher level or upper level so these are two main adva advantages or applications applications of the solar photovoltaic systems now there are another different applications but we we will consider all these applications in our next video so in that video we will continue with that applications